I've never had a beyond burger. Have you, Maria, you ever had a beyond burger? I made my, I made my, I, 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 I've tried the black bean burgers. I love them. My favorite is the quinoa cowboy at uh, Trading Joe's. Okay, I have to, okay, I have to look that one up. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's, it's excellent. But the thing of it is, it's still kind of processed. We right. can't really get it fresh as we want, but it's it's still a better way of eating. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna make this last point. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a serious primary investor of anyone that wants to open up a plant based butcher mm-hmm. and a dairy free ice cream shop here in the city. Mm-hmm. It's a death for that. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, think about it. If we want to change the mindset, we've got to be able to put this where people can get it, especially in Detroit, which is a micro- microcosm of working class people. Mm-hmm. If we can come up with a plant-based butcher like they did in Minneapolis, and if we can come up with an all-dairy-free ice cream shop, mm-hmm. I think we're on to something. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I agree. Yeah, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. One of the things that I would say, I have found that when... Um, kids or even just people in general are giving uh, are given nutritional options like healthier alternatives. They will eat that food. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah. just that we have gotten, I think, into the. Uh, it's almost like we. It's just something that we do. We wake up, we go into the drive through we get our coffee, we get our little order the little egg with muffin thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. If we do that, or like you mentioned, Steve, I mean, a lot of the kids they literally do grab a soda. And a bag of chips, and that's what they eat for breakfast in the morning. Mm-hmm. You know, or I yeah, both. or both. Yeah, and so um, I do know that, for instance, with my kids, I never actually like told them that they couldn't eat certain foods. I didn't say, well, you can't have cookies, you can't have cake. But what I did give them is more nutritional op- and healthier options to eat. And what I found is that they actually gravitated to the more nutritional foods because, mm-hmm. and, I, and I also had an environment of health in my home. You know, so I, 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 I didn't have a lot of soda in my house. I didn't have a lot of um, a lot of cookies and things like that. But I did have, if you want something like that, I didn't deny my kids. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just important to, as you mentioned, when people have better options, they will tend to gravitate, I think, to those better options. Unfortunately, I think that, I mean, you think about it, you drive through the street, down the street, you have fast food restaurants on both sides of the street mm-hmm. and if you want to get something healthy you have to kind of drive out of your way to find something healthy so i think definitely if you had a dairy free ice cream store and the other thing that you mentioned i think people would go to it yeah i would love to so, be able to go somewhere and get a quick healthy meal that was made from whole foods you know that's just that's there and available i would love that we think there's a big market for that too i think because the society is realizing the impact of food on their health and looking for healthier options so mm-hmm. well i'll say this mm-hmm. you're right with children mm-hmm. if you even act like you like something they will like it mm-hmm. so, yeah, i want the nurse the next time she goes into school to take a gallon of orange drink and tell me how many hands are raised when they think that's orange juice. Mm-hmm. See, we're so used to, because the chemical orange drink is 99 cents per gallon, and the orange juice is 369 a gallon, naturally, what are people going to gravitate towards because we're looking after their wallet? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you look at Detroit vegan soul. I don't know if you had their, uh, their food, but you can take uh, black eyed peas. You can take collard greens and make them cleaner to eat, mm-hmm. healthier to eat. Mm-hmm. And the thing of it is, if you still enjoy those foods, you can still enjoy them, but you just can enjoy them if you show people you can still make the same great taste, but with healthier versions or healthier options. I agree, It's Steve. about changing the mindset. Truly. It's about changing the mindset. I and the thing of it is, we normally don't figure it out until it's too late. And at my point, you know, once I got sick, that's when I was like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. let's figure out what's happening here. And then I started like, well, cabbage is not bad. Cauliflower, you can you can bake cauliflower steaks. You can bake cauliflower drumettes to make it look like oh, uh, bleeding. Right, right. So yeah. many things I can, but I didn't know. But guess what? Guess what? 
What? It's a little secret lady between us. Okay. I mean, if you got a cell phone, you can go to YouTube and anything you want to know to YouTube. Can you? Right. want to know the clean eating recipes. Mm -hmm. If you want to know about a vegan cheese, if you want to know a be what a Beyond Burger, what is it about, what's in it, it's on YouTube. So right now, our kids are... They're being dumbed down by reality TV because they've got a powerful tool in their hand, mm -hmm. which, is, which is their cell phone. And there's no way you can be dumb, you can't know reading, writing, arithmetic, or clean eating in 2018 when you've got a computer in your hands all day long. Mm -hmm. So I and we just need to change our mindset. We may have lost some people along the way, but we can surely change the future by just letting people know it's okay to pass up that dollar menu. Mm -hmm. It's okay to pass up that hot and ready. Mm -hmm. If you eat that dough and cheese every day and you start it off the morning with a bag of hot Cheetos and a Pepsi, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, can you imagine that? My wife is a teacher. She sees it all the time. It's just ridiculous. I know. It's ridiculous. When they come to school and, eat, and they will pass up, they even try to put fresh foods within the school. Now, some people gravitated toward it, but some kids are just stuck on that, and that's mm -hmm. because of a household. All learning begins at the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. and if the kitchen table is wrong, everything else will be wrong. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to throw a wrench in your bird. You can try to educate them on cleaning, you can try to educate them on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Mm -hmm. But if the home environment is dysfunctional, there goes the child. So we have to teach and reach one. Every time we speak in front of children, especially to change the mindset. And don't, don't be afraid to try different things or try things out of the box. How about having a meatless Monday in your, in your family? Mm -hmm. you I know, love that. You know, I love that. Great suggestion. Mm -hmm. Anything like that, just to change it because you can't eat meat every day. Right, right. And some of these children are eating um, the beef meat every day. And they don't know why they got skin rashes, mm -hmm. you know, psoriasis. They don't understand. So we we got to change. But again, uh, you know, uh, Angela, I know uh, Herman was the investor into the restaurant. I don't know if he's still doing it. But he, I wish you guys would think of something like that. And I'll be a primary investor in something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so a plant-based butcher mm -hmm. like they have in Minneapolis or a dairy-free ice cream place. Because we all, I want ice cream too. <laughs> Food that doesn't taste good. 